Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to take another look at another whatnot scammer. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't surprise anyone. I've been saying this. I feel like a broken record telling people you probably shouldn't be buying stuff on whatnot. It is filled with people who are looking to rip you off. And now with the uh, Pokemon market, at least with the current Pokemon uh, availability of, of a modern product and such, uh, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of not very many opportunities to uh, to flip dip 69 like most whatnot resellers, re-breaker dakers are doing. So we're, we're going to see, I think, more and more of these shenanigans because if they can't make money, they got to make money by stealing. And that's pretty much what's going on here. We have an issue with someone. Of course, of course, they're they're doing they're doing a live break. They're on whatnot. Uh, it shouldn't surprise anyone that there's a there's a chance. There's a very good chance that you're going to end up getting boned by one of these individuals. So, uh, in classic whatnot scumbag carnival fashion, we have this individual who is. Yes, they're they're running a, a bounty, and I'm not sure exactly what the, I heard a couple different stories of what the bounty is. Again, shame on whatnot for not allowing anyone and everyone to see any of the recordings of previous streams. Uh, but good on the people that were involved in the stream that still have access to it, uh, or that recorded it at the time. Uh, you pretty much have to. You're, you're pretty much it's it's a game of like you're paying extra for packs for some nobody to open this shit for you. And then also there's a good chance you're going to get scammed by this nobody who's opening packs for you that are too expensive. It, it, it blows my mind that anyone is doing this. Again, if you're just looking for company, a community of some sort, I hate the word community because it's abused and used and slapped on the fanny. But if you're just looking for cool people to open Pokemon cards with, just join join my Discord. Get in there on the Saturday nights and uh, and open packs. Open your own packs with other people if you if you want to if you want to experience that there's then there's a zero chance that you're getting ripped off you buy it from you buy your packs from a reputable source you bring them on there you get a cold beverage and you open them with other people you do not need to watch this dude's friggin freckly hands rip you off all day and all night in order to to get some sense of like hanging out with people it blows my mind. Regardless, before we get into the video here, there's a few video clips, some of them longer than others. Uh, we got to get the full context. But uh, for anyone that's wondering, we need to look at the cards in question. Yes, we're into Korean, Korean evolving, evolving skies. I I don't know if it's evolving skies or if it's like more like the Japanese set. Regardless, if if you can't get evolving skies, if you're bored of evolving skies, if you can't get the Japanese EV heroes. Then we move into Korean. It's just like moving to the next thing, ripping and shipping. People are spending money on stuff they shouldn't be spending money on. We need to reference for the video here. We're going to see uh, the, the Korean Moonbryon. That's what this is. Uh, and then we got the Leafeon VMAX, which is the card that is swapped out. So now that everyone's educated on what the two cards look like, I, just in case, guys, I know I know most people understand and will see this right away from the clip itself. Uh, but re regardless, we have uh, Pietro Marino. Who made this post here? I had a few people reach out to me. I appreciate that, including one who uh, who has previously been a rattle Pokemon hater uh, and uh, and was a little bit of a wiener baby in the in the Discord. But uh, regardless, we're we're not going to name any names with that. But I do appreciate the fact that uh, that someone kind of realized uh, that um, that what we're doing here on the channel is a little bit necessary uh, and that they they wanted to redeem themselves. So. I do appreciate that. I, I think everyone can redeem themselves. I think in an instance like this, like if you're, if, you're, if different one one thing is like trolling, being being an idiot in in chat. Another thing is just straight up stealing from people. To me, um, this this and you're gonna see what whatnot decided to do uh, later on in the in the video here, uh, which is absolutely wild to me that this isn't just a permanent. If you're stealing from the people you're selling to, how is that not a permanent ban? I don't get it. I don't. I have no idea how that is not just a rule. Uh, if you're plain as day, deliberately stealing from the people that you're broadcasting to, the people that are spending money on the whatnot app, how is whatnot looking after those people and just banning, just straight, straight ban? I, I've, I kind of, I'm under the impression that like the only way to clean up whatnot is to just do like you have to do criminal record checks in order to sell on there, and it would probably the platform would probably have like ten sellers. I'm sorry, well, every, all those ten sellers, you guys are, you guys are outstanding people, and it's a shame uh, because I mean the platform kind of works um, and and should work and it should be a good thing, but it's not a good thing. You, you got a bunch of slime ballers that are going to take advantage of other people. 
Um, and I'm not just talking. I'm, I'm not just talking the 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 extra price on the packs because yes, it's going to cost somebody extra to. I mean, most of them are probably just going to Walmart and stealing this. Not stealing it, but <laughs> they're stealing from you. They're, they're probably just going to Walmart, filling their card up, bringing it home, and and selling it. I, I don't. What? Why? Why is this? I mean, I kind of see with the hype in Pokemon, it kind of turned it into a viable uh, profession or. Uh, I guess side hustle, uh, but now maybe not so much, and uh, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see just that. All right, let's play the first clip. Uh, without further ado, here is um, so keep an keep an eye on the cards. Um, the, again, there's a bounty. So for anyone that doesn't know that, that's an extra incentive to buy packs at an increased price. Uh, it makes you feel good in the fanny pants um, because you have a chance at. I don't. I think someone mentioned that you get to win. You would win everything in the background here. Uh, all these like Costco, uh, Costco tins that uh, that were loaded up, um, but uh, but yeah. So not only do you get the card, you get the stuff in the background, uh, and of course that's an extra incentive for either the the packs to be searched beforehand, or uh, for the in this case the the whatnot seller to be dumb enough to try and swap the card out live on on camera. Like that's the thing too. When you start bringing stuff off camera, when you have a small screen like this. Um, a different story if you have like a, a, a full on setup either on YouTube or, uh, or Twitch or whatever where everyone can see everything at all times because you should be able to. That's kind of how it works. It's like if you if you go to a casino, the dealer doesn't get to just like put stuff in their pockets and they got to do this leap that the arm thing guys, they got to do the arm thing. Do we need to do that? Is that what what not needs? <laughs> Will we see some handcuffs if, if that was the case? Are the handcuffs just slightly off screen here? All right. That's uh, video time. Video time. Hopefully the music isn't uh, going to copy copy dog me. Moonbrion, right there. So um, we can we can pause it. Um, clearly we got the sky here. That that is the that is a Moonbrion if I've ever seen one. Don't ask me how I know what a Moonbrion looks like. I've seen a lot of cars that were not Moonbrion, and then I saw one that was. But <laughs> for this <laughs> for the sake of the video, let's pretend that I know what the Moonbrion looks like. Gonna suspense this sucker. <laughs> so he takes it off. Swapperino. I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> oh my goodness! It might have been. We're gonna find out. I'm shaking. Hey, you're shaking because you just tried to steal from someone. <laughs> To my shop and reorganize my case. Imagine you're looking at a thousand. Oh, dude, a V Max Leafeon trick. It's almost it's almost like it's it's weird. It's almost like the recent TCG stuff where it's just like, do you not realize you're on camera? And no. Uh whatnot is running a little defense for the scammers where knowing you know people can't just randomly go in and watch your previous broadcast, which should be available for some amount of time, uh, so that uh, people can investigate for whatnot. Uh, because they don't like to do that themselves, they ha they need reports before before that happens. I guess enough reports, uh, and then maybe they look into it. But uh, but yeah, we have here. Uh, Pietro says not that it matters much, but I wasn't the buyer here. Not entirely sure who, as it was shared originally to me through Discord. I do hope they not only receive their card, but the seller is banned from whatnot immediately after proof of shipment. So yeah, and the, whatever the bounty was here. So. Yes, we have a we have a little update um, here, and maybe I'll reach out and and see if uh, if the seller would like to 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 speak to me. I, I have my doubts. I don't think there's any reason to. Uh, we have an update. Apparently, whatnot has given him a strike and has been banned for a week, but doesn't plan to come back to streaming anyway. Good riddance. Um, that's the thing. Does he come back later and do some shady crap under a different name? Maybe who knows if anyone has additional information, uh, we're, we're going to take a look at, uh, I, I guess they're on uh, TikTok, which is not really surprising, but if anyone has additional information and would like to reach out to me, if there's been any other incidences, if you purchased from this individual, uh, if there's anything that you think is sketchy and would like me to look into it, then please do reach out preferably on discord through DMS is the best way to do so. 
Uh, if there's ever anything urgent, uh, Discord is the best way. Discord DMs to contact me, but also um, just just give me a little at in general chat if there's something that's urgent. If it's not urgent, then I'll get to it eventually. My apologies, it could take some time, but for urgent stuff, give it give it the old at Rattle Pokemon uh, in the in the general chat of the Discord. All right, so. Uh, and we're going to take a look at a longer clip of where he BSs even more uh, down lower in the in the replies here. All right, whatnot mod Grim says update. Okay, so not not to vouch for the guy or anything. I used to mod for him when I haven't in about a month. After hearing what happened, you can only blame one person in the situation, and that's himself. I mean, I totally agree. He's caught stealing, and we've seen it recent times. If you steal from people, you're a terrible person. Um, Regardless of the situation, even if you're, if you're, you're not making enough whatnot dollars that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go deliver some Amazon packages on the side. You gotta, you gotta go skip the dishes. Is skip the dishes Canada only, or is that states too? Any Uber Eats, anything, any one of those food delivery services, um, in between your your whatnot streams, just just do it. Just do what you gotta do. Ripping people off is not the answer. I've told him countless of times the chat won't always be there to have your back. He runs games and stuff for $1 all the time. He lost his school when he should have brought the price up or at least got off. It was a $1,200 bounty. Okay, so we got we got the bounty. Uh, and then I guess you, you have the bounty there, but you don't want the bounty cashed in. That would that would defeat the purpose. But again, that's probably why people are, are buying I've called him personally and wished him luck on his endeavors. He has informed me that he has been banned for one week, but he will not be returning to whatnot or to streaming. I would like to say on his behalf, he does feel like shit and he does understand what he has done. I'm here for everyone, not just streamers, but buyers too. I have helped so many streamers. I mod for about 40 people, so I do try to help people succeed on this app, but I am not willing to deal with having a bad reputation on my part. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, whether he, he feels like shit because he got caught, he did it, he didn't, he, it was a very conscious decision, whether it was in the moment or not, he decided, hey, I am going to steal from someone, I'm going to steal 1200, is it like 1200 plus, I guess $1,200 uh, worth of bounty and, and the card itself, which is probably, I don't know if it's 500 bucks, I have no idea on Korean uh, prices, no clue, doesn't concern me, but what does concern me is when people are, especially people that are new to the hobby, they're wasting their money on this crap. It's It blows my mind. Like It's bad enough to be opening packs because you're not going to make your money back opening packs, especially if you open enough packs. Um, and uh, short of being able to like to, to broadcast and, and get ad revenue and, and, and that sort of thing, opening packs is not profitable not in any way. But then when you're paying extra and you're getting ripped off or there's a chance you're getting ripped off, you're you're really just burning money at that point and the person that it's benefiting whatnot and which is probably why they're a little bit hesitant to to just straight up ban people that are stealing from the people that are paying them um but um but yeah whatnot and and the seller and the thief and the criminals that are doing this shit it's unreal i i don't get it it's it's easy it should be just like an instant you do anything like that it's on video it's clear as day on video uh, it should just be a perma ban. I'm not, I'm, I'm very in favor of giving people second chances, but not when it comes to when you're stealing from people on a pla you, when you're, you're weaponizing a, a platform, uh, f for theft, essentially, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a thing. It also, sh and then the other, um, the other instances or the other kind of scenario is just like, if they're just going to move to another platform, there needs to be some, I know it's competition, the other, the other platforms and stuff like that. Um, but you need to have some agreement like, Hey, this person was caught stealing on here. They, they shouldn't be allowed to move to another platform and do the same to someone else. And it sucks because maybe that's, maybe that's the way that they make money. But at the same time, there's lots of other ways that you can go make money. Uh, and hopefully whatever profession, profession you choose, um, after this is, is not one where you're going to be stealing. Don't steal from work. Again, that seems like a weird thing on the channel to have to keep repeating. Uh, but regardless. All right. We got the at rattle Pokemon tag here from Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. All right. So we got, as this is Twitter, we got whatnot. How many more breaks?
of this when you guys are going to stop scamming hobbyists. What not? Joke of a nap. All right. We have, I think this person's trolling that they, they said that the borders are different. Um, but uh, wait, 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 wait. Here, wait, wait. We got a longer clip. Um, more the ending. Let's play this one first. Um, I hate video players that just want to autoplay like that. All right. Now, next clip. Here's a, a longer clip uh, for you guys, as promised. And again, hopefully the music isn't going to get me uh, copy dogged. 69. The Moonbrion, plain as day. Why are you paying this person to open your packs? Who and why? I'm gonna suspense this sucker. <laughs> I don't know, we're about to find out. <laughs> uh, what a grimer. Are you like? Oh my goodness! It might have been. We're gonna play it up like it. We're gonna like find out. Be. I'm shaking. Shaking. Oh my god! I wonder if it's a leafy own. Imagine you're looking at a balance. Oh, dude, a V Max leafy on trick trickery. Also, if you're gonna play music in the background, shouldn't you just, like, at least get the premium? You so motherfuckers! <laughs> you motherfuckers! No, you are the motherfucker. And this is embarrassing that you did this. All right, now the uh, we got more on the end here. Again, we got the autoplay nonsense going on. All right, get it. Oh, dude, the V Max Leafy on trick trickery. And it stumbles on his words. And Trickery! <laughs> you motherfuckers! You motherfuckers! I, w I wish we could see what Trickery. the chat was saying. Trickery! Dude, I thought it was it! What the hell? Yeah, there's definitely trickery, but it's your, your poorly trickery. Trickery! Can you believe that? Dude, that time I... Bro. I glad, bro. No. Definitely not. Does anyone know who the friend is there in the background? I did, because dude. if they're playing into it, they should also be banned. I'm sh shaking. If they're, on the, if they're on the app. They look so similar. <laughs> All right, we're gonna they, run they 10, these ten at thirty. Dude. Oh no, we definitely have copyright music there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Come. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so um, that's pretty much what uh, what it's coming down to. We got the account here. You can see it is still very up, uh, and I I don't know if it even indicates in any way when there's. Uh, some kind of a, a ban, a temp ban. Uh, but again, it shouldn't be a temp ban. It should be, they should just nuke the account uh, and, and be put on, on sort of a, a list. If they make a new account, then they're not allowed. I mean, it personally, as, as somebody, as a, cons a consumer, as somebody that I'm not, but anyone that is should be very upset about this. Uh, if you like the app, if you use the app, if you're one of the sellers that are using the app in an honest way, you should be very upset that this is not just an automatic perma ban because it's 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 embarrassing. It's embarrassing for whatnot. We got the reviews now. We can take a look at the reviews. You can see here in the, the clips, uh, we got like a Moon Kitty, Moon Moon Brion, like um, uh, the moment. I guess no, there was there was some that were deleted. I think. Uh, but here we have like people clipping uh, the actual sections of the stream where he's actually doing doing the shenanigans. Uh, it's it's on the profile. So like, what does what not need? They don't even need to go back through the entirety of the footage. They can just want to watch the clips. It's right there. Seller reviews five. So again, guys, you don't don't always just base somebody on on their on their rating, whether it's on eBay or whether it's elsewhere. Um, 
They're getting praise here for their incredible bounties. Yeah, really great bounties. When the, the bounties that you can't even win because they're going to swap out the card that you need to get for the bounty. Um, great packaging. Yeah, that makes up for the fact uh, that he's not actually going to send you everything. Regardless, uh, we got, we've got we seen, this is not the first time with Whatnot so that we've seen uh, shenanigans. And I do have a Whatnot playlist. I think I'm missing a couple of videos on there. Uh, but we've had people that just don't send stuff. We've had people that arrange to have transactions go off the platform after they're trusted on the platform. We had people that are threatening uh, violence and or death. We've had people, um, all kinds of crap. We, we've had stolen product that was being sold on whatnot. We have broken street date, which is the most ridiculous thing ever. But I guess like one not is just trying to cash in on on whatever seller fees that they can get so there's no rules and regulations there i i personally wish that the pokemon company would spank them for this uh because it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be a thing you shouldn't be able to sell something uh on the platform before street date it's not fair to game stores it's not fair to, to anyone that's abiding by the rules and it's i mean that that's the thing it's a it's first first to market sketch dog 69 finger in their butthole, arm tattoo, should be in jail, probably don't have another profession because they have a criminal record ripping you off every day, all day. Not everyone. Not everyone, guess. Not everyone and whatnot. But the platform, if this hasn't proved to anyone that you shouldn't be buying from these rip and ship stuff on, on Facebook, uh, like the, the deep dive on Facebook, on whatnot, on drip, on whatever the hell else, um, the, they're trying to rip you off. There's a large portion of them that are trying to rip you off. It sucks for the people that aren't trying to rip you off. But at the same time, this business model just probably shouldn't exist. If you do have to do something like this, if you do want to do something like this, and you want to buy into breaks and stuff like that, for the love of God, just do it with somebody that's reputable, that isn't going to like upcharge 69 billion percent. Um, I, I, again... We had somebody that uh, TCG Evolutions, uh, who was apparently back, not again, not banned, whatnot, just not going to do anything. Uh, they they tried to, they opened a bunch of booster boxes, uh, and and tried to convince the game store that they 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 were they were resealed when they were really god boxes. So this is the kind of dirty shit that goes on, and whatnot does nothing. And then and then people are like, why did why does everyone hate whatnot? I mean, I've been, I don't know how many videos we need to make here before people realize whatnot is not a good place to spend your money. But here we are again. We're, we, we just keep keep churning them out. We got the, the full carnival. And, and that goes from, that's not just the, the, the tiny G-baller 69s that are going to swap out your cards, that are going to not ship certain chase cards. It's all the way up to the top. We've seen it with the freaking backyard breaks idiots that like do a giveaway and then they decide that they're not doing the giveaway because they pulled something really expensive. Like if, if you can do that at the higher end of things, then what's to prevent all the little slime ballers who probably, I guess I, as a little slime baller, maybe eventually you get banned, you get a 10 day ban or whatever the hell it was uh, instead of, and just, uh, I don't know. I don't know if there was any repercussions at all to the, the fake giveaway or retray. Re <laughs> retracted giveaway i guess you would call it but regardless it's it's insane we got the, we got the, oh yes we got to make the tiktok content with the walgreens mystery box oh my goodness we got a battle styles and a silver tempest uh so it, it shouldn't surprise anyone um we've seen the fake giveaways before with the fahim uh series of videos that we had here people will fake giveaways people that are going to take advantage that are going to swap out your moonbrion are probably also not actually shipping out their giveaways maybe the giveaway is won by somebody that they know it is very easy to fake one of their spinny winny wheels um especially when it's pre-recorded uh and not and not actually live if it's live they can still do it trust me they can i've shown it on uh on camera that you can just you can rig the results of, of one of those random generators and uh and yeah, so we we got uh, there was I think there were some giveaways here. Yeah, first giveaway. So and anyone that's winning the giveaways or like entering or buying stuff to get in on these bounties, these giveaways and stuff like that, you, you're probably you're probably getting boned. You you're probably getting boned. Just just saying. Um, so don't please for the love of God, guys, just buy your own packs if you want to open packs. Um, or if you really if you're really into the break thing buy from somebody that's reputable that you that you fully trust 
Um, and again, you can't just go on, on the feedback. Don't, don't get caught up in the stupid bounty crap that's probably rigged. Either they search the packs beforehand or they try to swap them out on screen. Um, if the bounty is too good to be true, it probably is. And like, there's a reason why there's like an extra. And so look at this stupid shit. Handwriting like a three-year-old bounty. Pull any Umbreon when bounty. Starting bid $8. Um, so... That's pretty much it, guys. That's all I got for you. Again, another why the fuck are you buying shit on whatnot. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And we get the link tree here. Very, very intricate link tree. Um, but, uh, but yeah, take care of each other out there. Uh, be on the lookout for this stuff. Uh, and we've got to keep covering it so that uh, hopefully we can at least shine some light on this, this nonsense uh, and save some people some grief and some money. But yeah, join the Discord. See you next time. Bye.